internet and welcome back! So, today, finally, I know I'm a little bit late, but finally, I am going to react to the brand new Kylie Minogue album called Disco. You all seem to really enjoy my Kylie reactions and I really appreciate that. And the songs that I've heard from this album so far have been really fun. Not as fun as the pre-singles from Golden World, but still very enjoyable and I'm still very intrigued. And I hope you guys are excited to witness my reaction, my first reaction to this. Of course, before I start, I would like to thank the wonderful people who are supporting me on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support. I love y'all. And if you're interested in supporting me beyond watching my videos, please check out my Patreon page in the description below. Also, I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm gonna try my best to put this whole uncut album reaction on my Patreon, as I have been doing with my other reactions. It's gonna be tricky because it's really long, but I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna be interested because I have received comments previously on like, why do you cut, cut so much out of your reactions? Well, because YouTube is notorious for copywriting stuff, so I'll try to give you the full reaction experience. <laughs> but yeah, let's not waste any more time and without further ado, let's get play and let's see what Disco by Kylie Minogue was all about. First song is Magic and I've heard this one before. I reacted to it. The music video was really pretty, I remember that. And the song was probably my favorite from the pre-singles that I've heard actually. I really like this piano. Yeah. I feel like we're in for a really, really good time. I didn't say it in the intro, but I feel like we are. <laughs> These lyrics are so fun. Uh, this line. This part. Her high vocal is so sweet. You know what? This sentiment always makes me smile, you know? It doesn't matter what happens tomorrow, as long as we're having fun right now. Well, within reason. <laughs> this chorus slaps. I mean, it really does. Ah, oh, the slide. This part makes me feel things. I really love that instrument. This melody is really nice. This is such a good outro. That's a really good outro. Next song is called Miss a Thing. Oh. That sounds exciting. Oh. This reminds me of something from the early 2000s. What was that song that was really popular by her? I love how her voice sounds here. That vocal is so soft! This is nice, yes. I enjoy it myself. I love this verse. The chorus is good, and the vocal is really good, but like this verse feels very nostalgic to me personally. Oh! Well, that was cool! Her vocal sounds so good here. I feel like her high notes are so crystal clear. There's something so beautiful about them. Like, this is so beautiful. It sounds angelic. Oh? Alright! This brings me joy. The obligatory disco dance break. Let's do it! <laughs> I feel like this after chorus is very signature for the style. At least from what I've heard of the style. Okay, next song is Real Groove. And my friend said that this, this is his favorite. So I have high hopes for this. I already like it. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is cool so far. Oh! Let's go! Oh! Oh, I like that! Oh, the shade. That was... That, that was... Yes, yes, I, I don't... 
I, I don't have words right now, but it was a yes. <laughs> the melodies in this are amazing. Yeah. This is so catchy, oh my god. You know, I never doubt my best friend's taste. <laughs> and this is really, really good. Definitely the best so far. Oh, that, oh, that's such a cool effect. Yes. I love vocal effects, you all know that. This is so well produced. In general, so far, this album is so well produced. I couldn't say that about certain vocals in the Golden, if I remember correctly. And this so far is really cohesive and well done. This melody, incredible. That's a really cool vocal effect. I'm trying to decipher what this is, what kind of effect that is. Oh no, it's already over. No, that was too good. This is called Monday Blues. Oh, it's a Monday. Hello? Yes? Yeah? Yes? This is so fun, oh my god. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Oh, that harmony. The melody of the chorus is a little bit underwhelming, but the harmony, that harmony was really good. This instrumental is fire! I feel like the verses are absolute perfection. This melody, amazing, absolutely wonderful. The production is wonderful. This is definitely another favorite. I absolutely, I'm in love with the way this is produced. Oh! Oh! I love that! That was such a perfect bridge. Oh, that, I love that. This absolutely slaps, I love it. This part is so catchy, oh my god. Next up is Supernova. I love that vocal effect. You know what else I love? Space themes. <laughs> I don't set on my head. <laughs> This is Gachi. I love this beat. The beat is really good. I feel like after the last two, this one's a little bit underwhelming, but by no means is it bad. It's still fun. That effect is a highlight. Oh god, that was so good. Hell yeah. I love these lyrics, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> How many people have rhymed stars with Mars? I wonder. <laughs> and why is it always Jupiter on Mars? Like, it's always Jupiter on Mars. Is it just because it's a very catchy phrase to say? I wonder. You know, it's not a bad phrase. I just wonder why does it keep repeating in songs, you know, across songs and across artists and across the genres. Ooh, next up is Say Something. This intro. God tier. This synth, this type of synth I will never get tired of. It's so powerful. I love that guitar. I feel like I forgot most of this song. <laughs> Like, I, I I reacted to it, I listened to it, but like, I forgot elements of it. <laughs> this is better than I remember it, honestly. This vocal is really good. I love when people do that. I understand why this was chosen as a single. It's a very uh, standout stylistically so far. 
That was so good. I love the reverb on the vocals. It feels so spacious. I love that line. That back and vocal is so interesting by itself. I'm having such a good time, I feel like I'm listening to a different song that I reacted to. <laughs> like, I had, a, I had a good time back then, don't get me wrong, but it feels like I'm discovering it all over again and it's so much better than the first time. <laughs> Love that, absolutely love that, wonderful. This one's called Last Chance. A fashion and attitude hate, yeah! Let's go! Oh! This is really strong. This is a dance track, all right? Yeah, we could. This is so far the most danceable song, I think. <laughs> like, at least, like, the one that you can dance the hardest to. I love this part of the chorus. Or rather, the pre-chorus. This is good. This is hella groovy. I'm into this. Like, it's not a song that I would listen to over and over again, but boy, does it make me want to dance. Oh, I love, <laughs> I love this kind of bridge. This rise up is gonna be so good. This has a really good rise up to the dance part and the dance part, like the drop doesn't disappoint. Wow, that was, that was a, that was a good dance song. What is this? I love it. Didn't even have to look at the title. <laughs> I can't wait, I already can't wait for that second part of the chorus because we all remember how much I love that and it's still in my head. This melody is also, I, I, I already said that, <laughs> it's very nostalgic. This chorus, yes. And let's go! God, this is so good. I love it, I love it. I don't know why, but this is so good. <laughs> My head is about to fall. <laughs> I'm dancing so hard. <laughs> I still don't know why this part is so good, but it is. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. That backing vocal is so nice. Next song is Where Does the DJ Go? Oh? Hello? That was quite an intro. Oh, what was that? <laughs> this is groovy. Oh, this is really groovy. Oh. <laughs> that is so catchy. That was so good. Oh my god. <laughs> the claps are so good. Once again, the production on the sound was phenomenal so far. No complaints. Sometimes I call things out like, oh, the vocals are too quiet, or they're like too compressed or something. Everything here seems perfect. This chorus is so ridiculously catchy, I love it. That was a really good write-up. This, this song feels very classic in the best way possible. Oh, the ooh, ooh! <laughs> That's so cute! This is another one of those where you would dance so hard at a party. This one's called the Dance Floor Darling. That's cute. In the worst way? <laughs> I like that. I love how this sounds. 
Oh, I love those drums. The sound. I love this sound. I love this production. <laughs> this melody is really good. I love that drum transition. It sounds so good. It's just so nice to listen to. Production wise, this is so far my favorite. This and Say Something. Oh. Is this is this speeding up? Or am I tripping? Yep, it definitely sped up. Didn't it? Yep. <laughs> wow. That vocal effect, yes. This is so good. Wow. So far this is like my favorite. It's my favorite, but also other ones are very close favorites too. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Next song is called Unstoppable. I love those kind of titles. Oh. Wow. Oh, that that's good. This is sweet. Oh, come on! That transition was good. I love that accent on Word Unstoppable. This is fun! <laughs> the fact that it stopped after the word Unstoppable. <laughs> That's fun. The accent is still my favorite part about uh, the production of the song. In general, like I said, the production is really good. The song itself is a little bit boring. But that's good. I love that photo. Oh, hello? This is the best part of the song. That is so cool. This is good. I feel like the first part of the song was a little bit generic, but that, that bridge, and what came afterwards, that was so cool. Well, I mean, there's nothing generic about this, I mean, the songwriting itself. Well, that was cute. This is called Celebrate You, and it sounds exciting already. I like that. Like that, yeah. Oh. oh, this is so bright and happy. That is so cute. I love this production, and I'm, I just realized that there's a piano here, so that probably contributes to that. <laughs> I don't know how long I can rave about the production in this album, but. I will do that for as long as necessary, <laughs> because it's really good. The lyrics are absolutely wonderful, they're really sweet. And I'm just thinking about how we should absolutely celebrate our loved ones, our friends. I love that whisper vocal so much. This is just so soft, and I'm just vibing. Also, this is like the end of the Not Deluxe album, and I feel like it's a perfect ending. Like, absolutely flawless ending. I love those kinds of album endings. However, we are not done yet, and the next song is called Till You Love Somebody. Oh, I love that type of groovy guitar. More piano? Yes, I will take that. I love how her vocals sound here, and the lyrics seem cute so far. Ah, A falling in love song! I love those! Woo! Oh, uh, this is absolutely a song that you play in your headphones and you strut down the street on a sunny day because you're in love and everything's perfect! I love that vibe! These lyrics, wonderful. I love that. 
The vibes in this are immaculate. I love that. That synth? Yes. That is so cool. Is, is that it? No! <laughs> no! This is called Fine Wine. Hello? Yes, we are! Oh? That's cool! Wow! I feel like the verse was better than the chorus. I find that sometimes to be the case with disco choruses. It's like there's a rise but the chorus isn't really satisfying melodically. But the production is great though, so it's still a bop! <laughs> like, this beat is wonderful. Well, I mean, this is the verse. The verse is immaculate. <laughs> Helicopter to Japan, I like that. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, is that all? Hello? Next up is Hey Lonely! Oh, wh what was that? <laughs> this sound is <laughs> like so out of nowhere. <laughs> like it's literally so out of nowhere, what is this? <laughs> it's so jarring, I don't know why. <laughs> this beat, oh my god, yes. Yes, this is good. I love that harmony, but I still can't get over that one sound, that one instrument. Oh, the bass line is so good here. Oh, it's so catchy, yes. The bass makes it. The production, once again, is amazing. Oh, that sounds really good. Oh. I love how the vocals sound here, yes. Oh! Oh, yes! I love that, that transition. And the last song is called Spotlight. Sounds good so far. Not very outstanding, but good. This is good. This is exactly what I'm talking about, like, it has a really good rise up, but melodically, the, the chorus is like... It's good for dancing, but it's not, you know, it's not satisfying when you're listening to it for the sake of listening to the song. That's good. I love those vocals. This! This, this is fantastic, and then it goes into a lackluster chorus. Like, even the production is like, it's good, but it's not impressing me. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's the, like the 16th song. I actually don't know how many songs there are, I didn't look at the numbers. <laughs> but it's like the last song. Maybe it's that. You know, I have nothing against the song, really. Okay. Redemption arc. You know I love that effect. The smell is really fun. You know, when it's not put against that amazing pre-chorus, it's actually really fun. <laughs> you know, it's a good dance song nonetheless. Is that all? Are, are, are we done? Oh my god, that was that was literally less than three minutes. <laughs> that was uh interesting to say the least. That was a really swift end to the to the album. All right, so this was fun. I had fun just like I expected to because when an album is called disco, you expect to have an amount of fun. So I had my fun. <laughs> it was it was really nice. The production is the first thing I have to rave about, as I have been for the past fifty minutes. It's immaculate. It's wonderful. Every single song is produced so well that that one thing i didn't really understand what 
what song was it? I think it was Hey Lonely? Like, what was that one instrument in the verse that was like so unexpected and obnoxious in a way? Like, what was that? I didn't, I didn't quite get that. Other than that, the production is immaculate. Everything's where it's supposed to be. Everything is just as loud or as quiet as it's supposed to be. It's just really well done. And the songs, there are, there are 16 songs in this album. And uh, despite it being very like disco centered, they were not repetitive. They were not, I, I'm not saying that disco is repetitive, but like the beats, I, I expected this to be very uniform when it comes to the beats and melodies and musical themes and arrangements. But it wasn't, really it wasn't. It was, it had many, many surprises. And while it do, does have a really uniform sound, it's very thematically cohesive, like musically cohesive. Well, thematically also because literally every single song is about dancing and falling in love. So that is arguably the most thematically cohesive album I've ever heard this year. <laughs> But, you know, that that's a given. I feel like this album had the perfect balance of being very cohesive and also having surprises up its sleeve. I was definitely surprised by many of the songs. I, I, I said that like three times already, I think. <laughs> my apologies. The first song that I was surprised by was Real Groove and I have to give it to my best friend because he does have immaculate taste. So naturally, <laughs> that song was quite something. It definitely surprised me and kept me on my toes. Monday Blues also surprised me in a different way, still in a very good way. It's one of my favorite songs from this album, absolutely. Such a bop. I feel like it was a little bit more fast-paced and I really enjoy that. From the singles, Say Something is definitely the strongest and I can definitely tell why they picked it as a lead single. From this entire album, I feel like it's the most different song. Dance Floor Darling was another highlight. I really like that. Say Something and Dance Floor Darling are the songs that I'm most excited to revisit. I think. And also Celebrate You was such a cute way to end the album. I am gonna pretend it as the album ending because it's just absolutely perfect. That's exactly the type of song that I would end this kind of album with. You know, an album that's full of love and joy. That is literally like the cherry on top. The deluxe songs were good too, but I was most impressed by Till You Love Somebody because like I said, that's the type of song that you strut down the street to when it's sunny and when you're in love and when everything in the world is perfect for the three minutes or however long the song lasts. The other songs were good, but like for the ending of the deluxe album, I wouldn't have picked that last song. I feel like if anything, Till You Love Somebody would have been a cool ending song just because it's so happy. I don't know. I just, I just have a thing for happy endings in general. So like in albums thematically, I also have a thing for happy endings if you, if you didn't know yet. But yeah, this was fun. This was a very, very cohesive and very strong album. I really liked it. What do you guys think about this album? Tell me in the comments below and share your favorite songs from this album. Give me your top five, I'm very curious. If you want to see my future reactions, please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. I love you guys. Bye! What?